OK, so in this problem, Newton's law of cooling states that the rate at which an object's temperature decreases is proportional to the difference between the object's temperature and the temperature of its surroundings. Write this as a differential equation using t degrees centigrade for the object's temperature and a degrees centigrade for the surrounding temperature. OK, so uh, we'd be taking the uh, surrounding temperature to be constant, OK? And it's the, um, the temperature of the object, T, that is the variable. So the rate at which the temperature is decreasing with respect to time is dT, D capital T, T capital T for temperature, and lowercase t for time. And we're saying that that's proportional to the difference between the object's temperature and the temperature of its surroundings. So the object's temperature is capital T. The temperature of the surroundings um, is A. So that would be the difference uh, between the two. So if it's decreasing at a pro uh, it's decreasing at a rate proportional to that difference, then we could say that e equals minus K lots of T minus A. So decreasing uh, gives us that negative in there. The t minus a here will be uh, greater than 0. Okay. Um, so the t minus a, um, you might be thinking, well, why isn't it equal to 0? Well, um, those two temperatures in our model, uh, they'll never be precisely the same. It will never reach precisely. Um, the temperature of its surroundings. That's because of the nature of the fact that we're going to get an exponential through it. It's because of, it's a limitation of the model, really. So that's part A. Part B. Show that the general solution can be written as t equals a plus b e to the minus kt, where k and b are constants. OK, so how do I do this? Well, I need to get. The capital T is over onto the left-hand side. Now, there's that T minus A. I'm going to have to take the whole bit of the T minus A dividing through in order to get that capital T on the left-hand side. The minus K can be left there with multiplying both sides by the DT. Then we can integrate. So this will integrate to log of T minus A. And the right-hand side will be minus kt plus some constant uh, c. Now, we can e both sides. Uh, so we'll be left with t minus a is equal to e to the minus kt plus c. But we know that that's e to the minus kt times e to the c, which we can write as uh, some constant times e to the minus kt. Now, because a is taken... Uh, we'll bring in B here. And then you can add the A to both sides, leaving me with precisely what the question required me to get. Okay, So that's the answer to this problem.